to do something a little different with the intro music you know I always play very lit things because I'm always super excited and um but I have Venus and Pisces okay and so I love all kind of music okay so this is more my kind of vibey this is kind of what I just listen to more on a day I don't just jam trap all the time because that's I'm not that lit you know what I'm saying um, but I am but 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 you know I, I I like all kind of different things so that was a different song um shout out um, and so, welcome. This is the chakra energy spread, okay? Um, yeah, I, I, I really do. I'm st starting to bring a lot more of my natural lifestyle and, and things I do to get, get by and things I do to, you know, increase my spiritual awareness, um, things I, I've done, um, through my awakening, um, and so, bringing them and, and sharing them publicly, okay, even down to my turn-up videos, okay, I'm going to start making. Um, but as a dancer mainly, and even I did two years at University of South Carolina for exercise science, um, and, you know, I got an AP, a five on my AP bio in high school, um, so I've loved biology, I love anatomy, I love sociology, took lots of class sociology, social psychology, um, even down to forensic psych, um, I, I had a psych minor at, well, it was a major, then I tried to drop it to a minor at Marymount Manhattan College. Um, and so the, there was a lot of things that I understand and I really love about, <coughs> excuse me, about the way the universe works and just energy in general. Um, but from a left brain perspective with the school, but also now, you know, all of this knowledge of, of the intuitive and all of this knowledge of the subconscious realm and, and all the energies that we can't see, you know, and the workings and the, the way that the, the fabric of the universe, the things that it's really made of, um, that we get guidance from, okay? And the stars, astrology, all these things, it's more right brain. So trying to really bring that together and share, okay? And so with chakras, they're so, so important. They're the main energetic units, kind of like highways, you know, it's kind of like intersection points, okay? Um, and they each kind of hold a different frequency, um, an energetic signature, kind of like the zodiac signs, each have a different frequency of the planets, okay? Um, and different energy is funneled through there, okay? So, for example, um, this, this is a small, I'm not going to get deep into chakras, but um, your heart chakra, okay, fourth chakra, it, 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 anything dealing with joy and happiness, where do you feel it? Here, okay? When you're sad and you're having something, you know, hurting your heart, where do you feel it? Here, okay? Um, for example, a lot of people get, um, you know, when you can't speak, okay? You have sore throat or, or inflamed things, you can't speak. Or even, I've even noticed, a lot of times, you can even check with people, that happens all the time. Um, if someone wants to say something and they, 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 like, they think something but they don't say it, they'll usually cough. Because that's your your throat chakra, okay? It's the, the, how you s express yourself, okay? Um, I have my favorite color my whole life it has been blue for a long time. Um, I'm a Gemini moon, so I love communicating and I love sharing. And so I'm going to have a very strong... Um, I, I've, I've even had overuse of my throat chakra where, where it's too overactive, okay? Um, and I have to just learn to just kind of... You know what I'm saying? Um, and so that that's the energy of the throat chakra, okay? And so, um, you know, it just, it really, you can tell physically, um, but it's also about just if there's any blockages, it's where you're, you're feeling it, okay? Sometimes when you're, you know, really gaining a lot of height, like a lot of times I'm doing these videos or doing readings, my scalp itches, because that's your crown chakra, that's your connection to spirit, okay? Um, or when you're having lots of downloads, like full moon and stuff, you could have an itchy scalp, or your, the top of your head feels like it's tingling, okay? Um, or a lot of times I feel like this point here is like pulsing, okay? Your third eye. 
You know what I'm saying? So brow chakra. So there's a lot of things with these chakras. So what I did is I'm going to do a um, chakra crystal spread for each sign to see which chakra you're either is either blocked for your sign or is is the main focus for this month. Okay. Um, and so I have my tiger's eye, which is all about protection and, and willpower, not when I said willpower, but survival and, and strength um, for the root chakra. I have calcite for the sacral chakra, okay, um, which is about your pleasures and your sensuality, creativity. Um, I have citrine, which is about abundance and, and your will and, and what you want to manifest and, and, and um, for your solar plexus. We have rose quartz for the heart chakra, that's self-explanatory with love. Jade for self-expression and the throat chakra, sorry. For our, um, and this one can go two ways, it's kind of blended with the quartz, but we have amethyst and they're both quartz, so it works. Um, for your third eye chakra. And we have quartz for the crown, okay. Um, I also, and with the reading, am including selenite for just the strength in the reading and have a great, it's about this connection. And I I'll really use peacock ore is a chakra stabilizer, okay? Um, and so when I carry this around, it helps to balance my chakras out, okay? Um, and then to clear out negative energy and just clear the space, I have um, a snow obsidian right now. And I always carry that around for protection, okay? Um, especially if you're very sensitive emotionally, you've got to have some dark, um, crystals on you, okay? Um, also no dark clothing absorbs energy. So as I'm saying this, I also, as a healer, I feel like always attract people that need to be healed, you know? And, and that's the same with me. I attract healers because, you know, it's the same. Um, but notice if you wear dark clothing and, and you're in a negative environment, notice how you feel because you absorb, black absorbs, Okay. So, just notice, okay? Um, yay. Okay, so, let's get into it. I'm super excited to see where we're going to go with this and what signs, you know, what we're feeling for each sign. Oh, I wanted to add one more thing. Um, I don't remember where I read or who told me um, or where I learned it or if I just knew it. I don't know. But to check in with your chakras to see the balance of your chakras. You have to, you know, you, vis you, can, you can see if you cannot visualize every color, whatever color you have a hard time visualizing, that is in your third eye, in your mind's eye, okay, um, that is the, the chakra that's blocked for you, okay? So what I mean by in your mind's eye, think of like right now, think of your, your room or if you're not in it or think of um, your favorite car, what it would look like or think of um, what your, your um, elementary school looked like growing up. How, how are you seeing that and not you're not physically looking at it? That's your third eye, okay? So the things you see in, in, that, in that vision, I see so many things when I look in, in my, um, and so that's how you see, you know what I'm saying, and, and through your third eye, okay? So a lot of times to see if my, my, my chakras are balanced, I'll close my eyes and I'll, okay, can I see red? Okay, I can see that yeah, red, I can see some fire. Red, let me see orange, okay. And then I go all the way, yellow, green, blue, purple, indigo, all the way up, okay. And, you know, for a, the longest time, the, my hardest color to see was red, okay. Um, because I had a, a massive fear complex growing up, okay. Lots of this Virgo energy. So my Saturn's conjunct my Mercury, so that just, you know, made me very um, critical. Um, and Gemini Moon can just really, anxiety, there was a lot, Aquarius, anxiety, Uranus, there was a lot going on where... I always was afraid I was going to either die, be, end up in a terrible situation, be abducted. There's just a lot of fearful situations, okay? Um, my soul, with Cairo, I feel like I was murdered or, or killed for spirituality. Um, and so I have this fear of being killed or fear, you know, Chiron and Leo, okay? So this deep wound in myself, okay? Um, and so... All those things were coming up and coming up and then, you know, me moving to New York on my own, not knowing anyone and trying to stabilize myself. Uh, I've been up here for five years, but it's still been, you know, a journey of figuring out on my own. And so for the longest time, I was having issues, um, you know, 
feeling stable, lots of lower back pain, um, lots of diarrhea, just stuff, you know, you're not being able to hold and ground yourself. At some points, I even felt like I couldn't even feel my feet walking on the ground, okay? That's how ungrounded I was because that root chakra was very, I mean, was very blocked. I had to do a lot of working on that root chakra, a lot of wearing red. Um, my best friend at the time, like at, through that entire period, was an Aries, okay? Which is the root chakra, that red energy. So the spirit, you know, hooked that up. That was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so really learning how to protect myself. And now I see red. I love the color red now. Um, I feel so much more stable, so much more grounded. Um, I, I, I gained an appreciation and love for earth as well. I have so many plants in my room now, you know what I'm saying? Um, I talk to animals, so many things, okay? Um, because of this this now strong root chakra. So, you know, all of these things I've had to really, I feel like through my awakening, go and heal all of them. Right now I'm still working on my solar plexus, okay? With my will and my manifestations and my self-confidence. Um, and so and self-esteem, not necessarily self-confidence, but self-esteem, um, and so there's different ones, okay, um, and so we're going to get into them for your sign this month, okay, I really want to kind of give a nice explanation before I start it off, um, lastly, of course, I always say it, um, check my services, I don't think there's crystal, there's, or you can ask questions about crystals, but there's not necessarily a crystal spread on my services, but I know about crystals and chakras, okay? Um, so you can do a one-hour chat with me, and we can do one of these spreads for you, and you can see what's blocked for you. Um, and it could be multiple things, okay? Um, and we can do lots of visualization things of, of working with spiraling the crystals, um, I keep saying crystals, the chakras, um, working in your third eye, different guided meditations I have, um, all those things, okay? So, Check my services out if you if this is interesting to you, um, and get in contact with me. Okay, Jesus. Um, so let's get started. Super excited. Here we go. Hello, hello, Virgo. Welcome, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising to your energy chakra energy reading. Okay. Um, out of the chakras, the one that you know this month you're going to need to really focus on. Um, either it's blocked or there just needs to be, you know, right now you're learning lessons to strengthen this chakra and this energy. We got the sacral chakra, okay? Um, this crystal is calcite. And um, what it is, is it, it brings creativity. Um, it helps with creativity and, and, and the flow of, of creativity. Um, when I'm dancing and improv and stuff, I have this crystal near me usually. Um, it's also good with sensuality and understanding your sexuality and expressing it, okay? This is, of course, not just sexuality as in sexual preference, but literally the way you do everything um, has a sexual nature. And, and, and so that nature and the way you express yourself and to what extent um, is your sexuality, okay? And so that is in your sacral chakra. It's the second chakra up. Um, the color is orange. Um, this crystal also helps with um, just belief and, and sense of value, okay? Because the sacred chakra deals with pleasure and deals with, you know, what, what do you believe you are worth, okay? How do you take care of yourself, you know? Um, we all have different senses of, you know, just levels of, of self-care. Like, for example, I live in New York City. There are certain people who don't want to take the public transportation. And so they have beliefs about themselves and they don't want to take public transportation. There are certain people that do. There are certain people that don't want to sit down on public transportation. There are certain people who only want to stand up. There are certain people, you see, you see what I'm saying? There's so many different value systems on every level, not just about how much you make, but on how, what, what you put yourself through on a daily, okay? Um, my value, like, I love being self-employed, okay? I work best self-employed, okay? And so certain people do not. You know, there's there's different energies, you know what I'm saying? So based on the beliefs for me, what fits for me, I do what I do and you do what you do and all these different things, okay? That's all from sacral chakra, okay? Your belief in yourself, your sense of kind of self-confidence, um, self-esteem, how you promote yourself is... And how you see yourself in the public eye and that kind of stuff is more solar plexus. 
But I could say your sense of self-worth is, is sacral chakra, okay? Um, how do you feel your worth, okay? If you're diminishing your worth right now, there will be a, blo a block in your sacral chakra, okay? Um, and if that would also mean diminishing your, exp your creativity, your expression, your, your, your repressing any aspect of your emotions as well. Your sacral chakra deals with your womb, your, your gut, you know, where all of your emotions, really your emotional intelligence is, is, is held, okay? Um, and so, you know, where there's a lot of in intuition comes from your gut as well. And so, if there's any blockage in, in repression and in, in receiving a message or blockage in, um, you know, any emotion, you're not really wanting to feel emotion or really feel into a situation to figure something out and you're suppressing it, that could block that chakra as well, okay? So all these things can, can lead to a blocked sacral chakra. Um, ways to help with it. Number one, just the color alone. Visualizing, literally closing your eyes and in your mind's eye trying to visualize orange things, um, like an orange sunset or um, literally the color orange, um, an orange fruit, you know what I'm saying? All these different things um, help with bringing that vibration into your life, okay? Because all colors have Roy G. Bid. They all have a frequency, okay? Um, and so that orange frequency, as above, so below, happens to match with self-worth and all these things in our physicality, okay, in our reality, okay? Uh, I just finished orange juice, okay? So drinking and eating orange things also is going to help with your sacral chakra. Wearing orange colors, okay, um, is going to help. Um, doing things to enhance your creativity, you know, expanding your creativity is going to boost your sacral chakra. Um, you know, treating yourself, good foods, um, you know, excuse me, getting a massage, you know, writing good things about yourself, uh, affirmations, um, all these things that, that boost your self-worth and, and make you feel worthy um, are going to boost that sacral chakra, okay? Um, really dive into your emotions, taking a bath, really going and meditating and really feeling out what's going on in your emotions. What are your emotions telling you now? Getting that out, writing it out, you know, all these things really are going to help, um, with that, um, sacral chakra blockage. Okay. So, um, not only get to the energy of the situation, so spirit for the highest good of all for Virgo, Virgo moon, sun, and rising. What do you have for, you know, the sacral chakra blockage? Sacral chakra blockage. That's hard to say. Okay. Okay, so... It's saying that right now, you know, the advice is to continue working, continue pressing forward. This is like the Cinderella card before she meets the prince, okay? She's, you know, doing her chores, getting things done. Virgo, you love, you know, you have no problem with chores, lifestyle things. You love that. Cleaning, you know. You might not love it, but you're good at it, okay? And so, um, I love cleaning and those things, Virgo rising. Um, and so, you're being... You feel number one that, that you're in a faded zone, or something's occurring where you're you are being divinely moved, or you're in this process. You feel like you know, I'm being guided right now, and so you're just doing the necessary work. You're putting you know the work forward. Okay, um, where the blockage I'm seeing is coming in is in a situation with a soulmate, in a situation, and the soulmate's not just necessarily um, your life partner, okay, or your twin flame. This is talking about any. You know, as souls, we've been incarnating and reincarnating since the beginning of time. And so, you've had multiple, you know, based on your your soul's energy signature, multiple lifetimes with so many different souls, okay? And so, you know, those, those relationships are seen as soulmates, okay? And so, dealing with people of, uh, you have karma with really affects your body and your energy a lot more because you have energetic cords attached to those people, okay, from dealing with them for so many lifetimes, okay? And so it's saying may, maybe in a home situation or, you know, it's dealing with your home, your, your, your home, your uh, emotional center, your inner home, um, soulmates, you're, 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 that's kind of what's throwing off your sacral chakra, okay? You're not feeling you like you can express yourself to these people, or there's some suppression of your true self, or what you need to say, or, or what you value. Maybe they're, they're lowering your value, or lowering your sense of worth. Um, or there's a sense of, you know, somehow suppressed suppression in yourself to balance the home, or to balance the relationships, okay? Um, let's go a little deeper into the situation. 
sure, a little more clarity. Okay. I'm saying you're having an inability. It's really hard for you to stay present right now. It's the here and now card. It's hard for you to really stay present in the moment because you're really worrying about the situation. Um, you know, this also came in reverse treasure island. Something that you wanted did not turn out in the way that you wanted it to turn out. Um, you have, you, or you're waiting for, for something to come in, some message or some, you know, savior, some money. Um, but there's, it's in delay. Um, and it's saying though, your being, your vice is blessed, the blessed card, which is beautiful. So you're being, again, I definitely feel that, um, this faded energy, this is all purposeful what you're going through. Um, and they're saying that there's going to be a major shift in the wind or there recently has been a major shift. Okay. Um, to really help you get more present where you can continue to, excuse me, focus on what you need to focus on and, and just get, get back to kind of the, the, the way of, you know, getting things done, um, and not let this soulmate situation really throw you off too much. Okay. Um, and so let me just get a theme as well for this shift. This shift coming in spirit, what is this going to bring, Virgo? <laughs> balance. Okay. So it's going to help and come in and really bring and balance out the situation. Okay. And so this is going to balance out the sacral chakra. So what's a way, spirit, that um, Virgo can really help to balance their sacral chakra? Number one, the miracle of prayer. Okay. So this is about, you know, surrendering the ex the the surrendering the expect the expectations surrendering what's going to happen um and really just putting forth prayer and, and really asking for help from the divine okay really help to you know balance the situation out okay um lastly earth angel so people around you virgo and virgo you're really seen as the earth angel um, and so this could be, you know, you tapping into your true energy, your energy as a healer, your energy as, you know, the compassion you give to others. This is the time to give it to yourself right now. Okay. And that is how you balance sacral chakra. It's, it's about the worth you give to yourself. Okay. And we're going to get some advice going out for the, for the month. Okay. And advice, spirit, what advice do you have? For Virgo um, to balance the sacral chakra and for the rest of the month. Hearing two cards, one. Spirit is the, is the fucking plug. I love that. I love spirit, yes. And two. Okay, so number one, again, reward yourself. Okay, so this is all about boosting this sense of self-worth, boosting your worth, treating yourself. Okay, reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately, and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. This balance, again, of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation as, as at a consistently high level. So if that's not confirmation of this sacred chakra, I don't know what is, okay? Um, and lastly, you've got steady progress. So again, that's what it's saying. You know, continue to chop wood. Where did the card go? Here we go. Continue to chop wood, you know, and continue to... Go and, and follow, you know, what you're feeling guided to do, okay? Steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. So, Virgo, you know, um, that is the situation. Um, continue again to don't, you know, treat yourself this month. Um, you know, show yourself love. Um, this also should, happens in defending yourself. Make sure you speak up for yourself this month. That is how you show yourself love, okay? Especially if you know your truth is truth, okay? Um, and, and it needs to be said. Don't don't hide your expression. Don't feel like feel bad for feeling emotional or for needing to express in whatever way. If it is unusual or if it's not, if it's more new to you, um, give you give yourself a chance this month, okay? Um, don't nitpick yourself. Don't critique yourself. Bring nothing but love to yourself and just keep progressing. Keep having that steady progress, okay? So if you want to get deeper into a situation or you have a situation you want to talk about, hit up my website, check out my services. Until later, guys, I love you and I'm out.